Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Treasure Adventure Game Part 10. Uh, in the last episode I uh, actually got a throwing hook and discovered the uh, volcano and uh, the Bamboo Island and looks like we're still in the region of Bamboo Island. I'm just calling it Bamboo Island now, yeah. Um, so it looks like there's no way I'm getting up here unless I have a double jump or something else. Also, what's with the squadrons of bees over here over the sea? I don't know. Let's just sail away. Um, the X pointer is getting rather high now. For sale! How's for sale? Sure. It's like Skyrim now. Um, okay. Pattern. Uh, General Patton. I want to be a homeowner. Um, sure. Thousand coins. Yeah. He needs cash up front. Yeah. Um, maybe I can go into the chimney up top, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Well, there's something for later and. Uh, something to save your money for. A thousand money is very home. You're going... Yeah, you have your own house. Okay. There's probably something inside. That's pretty terrible. Um, so it's getting in night again. Um, moving on. More VVCs and... More nice background islands. I do remember if they, those look like any I visited before. Maybe that's the crumble block. No. No, that's... Not, you know, water in mill. Um, there goes the sun, and here's a new island. It's... The Nausol Island. City of the Nausol. Okay. It's an actual city. Wasn't expected there. And here's Tom. Globocorp, oh, from the robots. Oh, they're here. Pawn shop, which has the eye plant. Video games and gifts and TV. Hey, they want the clovers. Haha, <laughs> okay. Elmer, FUD? <laughs> I'm sure. Interdimensional fragments. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a piece of another dimension that has found its way to our so Okay. Dimensional fragments as collectibles. I will. Um, I will. Interdimensional fragments. Rewards include a heart, temporal compass. Uh, okay. Torpedo cannon. Question marks. So, 40 at least in the game, and yeah, <laughs> like 30 for a torpedo cannon. So what's this dude doing? <laughs> We're talking about different dimensions, dude. So trippy, yeah, and this bong on the table here is probably nothing to do with that, and your hair. <gasps> uh, Barth here. Cheating in a break race at the Holocade. Computer gets confused if you're wearing red clothing. Thank you. Okay. Need something red. Oh, is these the, the consoles? Um, action, maybe? No, sure, parrot. Um, no, not doing anything with that. Up here, then. Um, nothing. No. Okay. On top of the city, and there's like a second layer to the city and a cloud in the middle of the city. Sure. You can apparently fall through the clouds if you do not keep moving. Nice to know. There probably will be another whole zone based on clouds like this, I bet. That's a. Uh, you don't see that much in games. That's a good idea. Um, nothing I can do from here unless I could break a window somehow, but I don't think I can. 
Um, let me the right lead somewhere. And Dr. Charles. Well, good for you. Um, Global Corp. Does not want me going in. Maybe because it's night? And there's a band. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Let's see some with, with sounds, with vocals. Maybe I should listen to this whole song, but... <laughs> explore some more. Anyway, nice. Ban. <laughs> surf and surf. Um, a locked doors and the glass pipe of sorts. I uh, knew it was an elevator. Uh, anything to the right? No. Well, I guess we go up then. Maybe look in that one locked door over here. It is night, but I do have to lock it get, so let's rob everyone blind. Okay, um... No, nothing here <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, down here at least. TV is off, but still giving a light, so... So I'm turn it to a black channel, I guess, or... Turn it off the... Not the... Uh, hmm. It made a sound. Like turned off the set box and, and left the TV on, I guess. <laughs> see a central box near that, but oh well. Um, okay, on with the show. Nothing interesting up here. But uh, here. I cannot hold on to this roof. And uh, it doesn't look like there's anything interesting near. It's starting day soon that uh, shop looks interesting. There's a nightclub! Ooh, exciting. There's all of two people in it. Okay, well, let's talk to the barman. Alan. Sure. Um. Shows you're free. But you <laughs> uh, I'm old enough to drink. Not sure if the kid is, but oh, there's even multiple things to do. There's poetry, comedy, theater, and music, and the moons are up and down, I guess. I know. So hamburger TV, very important. And four, leave me alone. Hmm. Marion Velda. Velda. Okay. Um. Probably lots of things to do here. Oh, it's comedy hour, I guess. The uh, Bart is watching the show, and Egan too. Whoa, Egan is so a stoner. <laughs> um, you have an question mark over your head. Why are you looking for treasure? Because, well, I night I like treasure. And Tony Ward, hmm, sounds a bit like Tony Howard. <laughs> The oil, oil, um, what was it called? The oil of Mexico, oil of Mexico, gold of Mexico, oil spill with BP. Tony Howard of BP, that was it. Yeah. So he's also running the Global Corp, the bastard. Um. I have to crawl through some ducts to the top office, where he keeps his treasure maps. And he does not like Tony Ward. Um, okay. An idea for a painting. <laughs> Look like a banger, Ted. Hmm. And there's Barney. Oh, these are, these are the fucking pirates who attacked me. <laughs> They're okay now. 
Dr. Charles, oh, fuck you. Alistair. I played a lot of Alistair in, in LOL a while ago. Not like a year ago, and I'm not gonna make like any LOL videos anytime soon. Before you ask. Um, sure. Uh, how about the comedy guy himself? Can I... Oh, can't I talk to him? Oh well. Um, and here was the other door, I guess, and this is the door outside. Wait a minute. There was a door to the top left, which I couldn't enter. Oh no, there's just a balcony, but there's no door to the top left. No idea how those guys got up there. Um, <laughs> kind of ruining the show, but oh well. Um, Well, nothing in here, and it's comedy hour now, so soon it should be theater. Um, let's visit another house first, see what happens. Uh, another robot. Yeah. Um, don't need your lockpicks. Um, I'm going to use one of my own. And uh, what's this house? Dr. Charles Hill, psychiatrist, open open to the day. Same here, probably the housewares. Open. Hey, there's, there's a red hat. <laughs> That's what I need for that game. Art gallery. Open. And nothing I can steal during the night, apparently. Um, this one would be most interesting to do, steal, but oh, I can't show my hook through that door, apparently. But no. Um, can't steal. Of course you can't, uh, most video games won't let you. And this is the Holocade. Um, well, let's try first without uh, cheat. It's like a video game, it's a pure submerging experience. Virtual reality. One time membership fee of 200 coins. I just have 200 coins. Guess if I'm buying this I'm not getting that red hat. Do I want this? I can probably not beat it since I need to cheat to beat it. But do we have to have 200 coins now? I'm going to need a lot of coins in this game. You know what? This is like a mini game, probably let's just buy it. Sure. Let's see if I can make some money out of this. Uh, there's multiple games, but most are out of order. Breakeries works. Well, let's try breakeries. Um, it's going to be Arkanoid, isn't it? No. Huh? It is. Do I need to hit, hit the thing? No. But I do need to keep it up. So I do need to hit it, actually. Hmm. Oh, weird name. Sort of bomb mark noidish with <laughs> the character and this is some real vir virtual reality. Come come here, you ball. Some more sixes, nice. Time up. Um Score 804. Was pretty nice. Uh, let's do, take a look at these high scores. 3200. And I made 800. Yeah, I'm going to need to cheat to beat that. So I'm going to need that red hat first. Um, well, let's take a look up here. Global Corp wants you to identify first. Um, I guess I should not waste all my lockpicks on these locks. Um, I guess I should walk over the clouds though. Oh, and even walk upstairs. Okay. Oh, let's go into the sky. Oh, here's Global Corps headquarters, which apparently is much taller than the rest. And you sort of float if you reach the bottom of the, the, the 
the cloud even. Here's a ventilation shaft. Yeah. Da. Okay. Well, give me the money, sure. <laughs> um. Bacchus was here. Okay. Tony Howard, Edward, not Howard. G C L Global Corp. Hmm. Hmm. Small drink. Yes. Okay. Tony Howard made my dad evil and attack um, and we'll have this treasure and made him the iron boss. Um so also no way I'm going up there, so I guess the whole dungeon is the point of the dungeon is to go through here. So those ostrich probably um yeah, one way. So I I guess I just climb up like this until Tony Ward's office. Okay. That's what the guy said at least. And what are you gonna do a green thing? Good. I need a set pattern to go around there. Oh. Yeah, okay, I get it. Rush him here. Now we move on. Um, little pipe cleaners. <laughs> this reminds me of Mega Man, those little things that just go left by the floor which you normally can kill and this one's a lot lot faster it seems. Ooh. Safe. Um but clover. It's a dimensional pocket. Um no way around to get it, but so well. Forty of them, so let's get it anyway. Um now this. How do I go on from here? Maybe. No. Um. There's a wall here. Huh? Hmm. Something I can see at least. Looking closer at the screen, maybe it or something in the dark. That wall is certainly blocked. Um, I can't go through here. And to the left is nothing either. Uh, maybe this hall was. No way, I have no way to get out. There must be some way to continue. Uh, these things. It was, um, and um, Bear talks uh, a lot, and hey, I'm going to steal this thing. A key card. Nice. <laughs> Snuck into the bank somehow. Um, so now I'm here. Now I can open these sort of doors. It was actually actually where I needed to go. Can I go in here now? Yeah. And I guess I could have gone on to other holes like that either, but I guess I... Oh. Okay. Now all of a sudden we're in security mode. Let's see what is over here. Marketing. Oh, there's an elevator. Which you can't go, uh, let go down once it's there. Um, and the speaker. I wasn't planning on, like, going full Metal Gear here already. Uh... No. Oh, well, since we're here, we should explore... Oh. I think that thing saw the parrot, but apparently didn't bother him. Um... Samuel Mahoney. During the day, this probably looks a whole lot different. Um... Should I maybe try and exit through that place? Oh no. Sales department. I think these are supposed to be cubicles, yeah. 
Um, anything else in here? An exit. Okay. Um, and it's day. Yeah, there is. Um, well, anything more to the right here? You in the band? Ah, <laughs> oh, the 99%. They're in this game too. And the 1%. It's uh, timing of the the moment at least. Well, like this, it's... Uh, it's uh, occupy... Occupy everything. <laughs> well... Won't really say much more in that. I'm not really that... Uh, into all I do not want to go into the politics in, in these videos since it's pretty useless. So let's just keep it on that. Um and um, what now? Go on metal bearing some more. Is the city library open yet? No, well let's open it ourselves then. Well it's worth it for the save point alone. Um Nothing else in here on this world map thingy. Uh, globe, I think. Yeah, globe. Golden Siren TV Breakthroughs Part 2. Wait a minute, there's probably a part of one over there then. Yes, okay. Um, magic, higher powers, scientific theories. Yeah, science is magic. Samus Aristar. Hmm. Summers are on. Uh, was able to prove mathematically their universe is made up of two dimensions. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the smallest known thing in our universe, the pixel. <laughs> it's, a, it's a science in a 2D world. Abe Democriticus. One from the Abe world. The Abe Odyssey games. Abe. Uh, anyway, he discovered that everything was made out of pixels. The pixels is what make everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's believed there may be other dimensions that are two and a half dimensions. There are even ones that may be three dimensional. <laughs> yeah. I prefer the two and a half and the 2D dimensions, but uh, <laughs> it's fine too. Um, GCO, Global Corp, blah. And uh history section. The mythical origin of species. By Darwin. <laughs> and a compelling origin of style life's best a myth. Three gods are in search of a planet. That land and water it was yeah good. Three gods discussed what they wanted to create. Wakanda a shapeshifter. The power of animal magic, the bit of power of magic. Lu Yang, the uh, from uh, Ragnarok Online, was a place there, the China place. It's probably someone in real life too, someone uh, which I don't know. Sorry. Um, we resembled a human, wanted to give the creation intelligence, use science. I guess I lose guess. Lu Yang won, and Otis, who towered into the clouds. Conscience. Hmm. I'm guessing we're working for Otis. We have a conscience and we're trying to save the world and stuff. But, um, <laughs> Magic would make their lives too easy. Mm. The other one oh, was okay. They decided they should each create life in their own way. Otis was not happy. We looked into the gate. As this is good, good. I'll give all life our conscience. Okay, thank you, Otis. Intelligent animals would fill with the planetary magic. I know that's the story with the worms and stuff. And uh, Young is working for the science of uh, with the humans. Lao Young, or yeah, there's probably some way to pronounce that in Wakanda. I know. Um, working with each other, they found they worked well together. Combining science and magic, they become one of the most advanced, cultured, and peaceful civilizations in the future. 
But they became distrustful, and that led to the Great War. The Great War between the animals and the humans? I guess so. <laughs> this is the uh, science section, and this is the fiction. There's no fiction in this to read? Please? No? That was some great stuff, by the way. Um, but no. Well, that was worse the lockpick. Um, now what? Let's take a little more, a little look to the right here because there were clouds leading here too. Yeah, not, not what was I expected. How many of these things do I have now? Um, let's get out the clouds first, or not? I have nine. One more for your heart. That's nice. Also at 25 minutes. Um, I guess we should explore leave exploring this for till the next video. Yeah. See you guys later.